than 200 years after it was written, the 27th Amendment was finally ratified. What's so striking about this story is the sheer degree of difficulty of what Gregory Watson did. Amending the Constitution is, by design, incredibly hard to do. I grew up in a former mill town in eastern Pennsylvania. Um, I'm the only one in my family to go to college. And I've seen all the difference that that's made in my life as compared to my three siblings. Education is a fundamental right. I went to law school because I saw it as a way to make change uh, rather than to just be a lawyer. I wanted the tools of a change maker and, and doing lawyering helped that. When I got out of law school, um, I started teaching right away at the University of Tennessee uh, in an area without a public defender. My colleague in the law school and I acted as public defenders, uh, and we began defending death penalty cases. I became involved in litigation over how our schools are funded. Um, New Hampshire has some of the best schools in the nation and they are very well funded and it has some schools that struggle a great deal. Um, and so I recognize uh, that education can make a difference um, and if you don't have a school system with resources, very few students can make it through that kind of a system. In state court, relying on the state constitution, not the federal, and they won. And so what I plan to talk about on Constitution Day is first to give the people who attend an understanding of the legal basis of how we um, rely on our education system um, to really create and motivate the American dream um, and how some parts of our legal system don't protect that dream. Other parts do, but they don't work unless people get active. What I want to do is really get students interested in the Constitution, what it means, um, not just in a theoretical sense, but how the Supreme Court applies constitutional law, and then winning at the Supreme Court, getting a decision that's helpful, that's just the first step. So I'm super interested in the seminar that is being offered in the spring. It was just really cool to hear what he was all about and his um, past experiences. His background in general would be great for um, the Franklin Pierce community as well as like myself and my fellow classmates because um, I haven't had a professor yet who's like actively um, practicing law and involved in um, politics. Whether we as the Supreme Court are going to do anything about it depends on whether education is what's called a fundamental right. I hope they take some practical skills on how to organize, how to motivate, how to um, confront bad public policy and advance good public policy, whatever they determine to be bad or good. My uh, mother-in-law used to tell my children, it's their world. It's no longer hers or her daughter, my wife's and mine. It's your world. Um, I think we've made a mess of it. And so it's, it's my hope to to encourage you to fix things um, and to be curious about your world and your environment um, and not to make some of the same mistakes that we've made.